Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this square pieced together photo effect. So there's two options. You could just work right on top of your photo layer, or if you want a specific size or dimension for the project you're working on, you can create a new document. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to File, New, and I'll make a 1920 by 1080 pixel document. Let's just say I wanted this to be my wallpaper or something. Now on this new document, what you want to do if you're not working on the photo layer is just drag your photo onto the new document. So I had a copy there and then you can position it and scale it however you like. So if you go to edit, free transform and just hold shift to drag the corner down, you can fit it into the project size that you're working on. So now that everything's ready to go, I'm just going to hide this layer and keep it as our kind of clean copy because we're going to use it later. Next, you want to grab your shape tool and just using the rectangle tool with a fill of any color that will be visible against your background. So I'll just stick with black and a stroke of none. So make sure you have none selected. And you also want to make sure you're working on shape mode rather than path or pixels. Now if you just click and hold shift to drag out a square, you could pick a square of whatever size you want. So if you want small square pieces or large square pieces, it's up to you. I'll do right around there and I'll minimize that properties window. And what we're going to do next is just start duplicating this all the way so it stretches and fills the entire canvas. Now that might sound like a lot, but it's going to add up exponentially. So if I press command J to duplicate this layer, and then I grab my move tool and I move it. Photoshop will automatically snap it next to the other one. But then I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to select how far away I want it to be. So when you hold shift and use the arrow key, I believe it moves 5 or 10 pixels at a time. Or you could pick a random value of, you know, like three arrow keys to the right or something like that. You just want to keep it consistent. Now once you do that, you can then hold shift, select both of the layers, and then right click and duplicate those or use the shortcut command J and move them and now that you already spaced one out 0.27 inches or whatever you did Photoshop will recognize that that's what you're doing and it'll do it again so essentially you just want to stretch it out all the way to the end of your canvas and you could select all the layers and duplicate as fast as you like whatever works uh, quickly for your workflow so you can see I've gotten to the end here and don't worry if yours doesn't make it all the way to the end or overlaps. I'll actually just remove that last one because we'll adjust the size and positioning afterwards. So now that you have your horizontal row filled out, if you just hold shift and select all of the layers, you can then duplicate all of them and grab your move tool and they should snap to each other just like earlier. And then you want to use the arrow keys to separate them the same amount of distance as you did earlier. Then once you do that, you can just duplicate it again and Photoshop will recognize that that's what you're doing and you can move them all the way to the end and again if you like you can just hold shift select all the layers duplicate those and then it becomes a lot quicker as you can see and I'm actually just gonna delete that last row because I want to show you guys how to fill it out so once you've essentially got the majority of your rows filled out if I just grab all of my layers hold shift I'm actually going to put them into a group by pressing this button here. And then if I press Command T, I can use the free transform tool to stretch it to fill out a little bit more so it fills out the canvas nicely. And then grab my move tool, press apply the transformation, and then I can center all of these squares. So now I have a nice even positioning. And if you wanted, you could stretch them out further. Of course, if you did the math on the size of your document versus the size of the square plus the border, and you divided it all out, you could have a perfectly symmetrical border. But I'm not going to go that far because it's a bit of an unnecessary detail. At this point, if you don't already have a white background in place like I did when I created the new document, you can just add one by going to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and creating a white or whatever color background you want, really. And then we're going to unhide our photo layer and drag it on top of everything in the canvas. So make sure it doesn't fall into that group, but on top. So now we have the 
picture on top of the squares on top of a colored background in this case white and what you're gonna do is create a clipping mask so with your photo layer selected head over to layer create clipping mask or you can use a shortcut option command G on a Mac so now we've got pretty much the base effect down but a cool little trick to sell the effect is by whiting out some of the squares or deleting some of the squares and we're not actually going to delete the squares but the trick we can do to do that is fill them in with white or colors even so if I go to my group and I'm actually just going to right click and convert it to a smart object so I can select different squares and I grab my magic wand tool and working on add to selection mode I click around and select a few squares that I want to hypothetically remove so let's do some there let's do one there and let's do some on the edge here now if I create a new layer on top of everything so layer new layer make sure it's also set to clip so layer create clipping mask so it should go in this order and then I grab my rectangular marquee or another selection tool and I right click and fill with contents of white or whatever your background color is you just want to pick the same exact color and select OK and then right click and deselect you should see we've whited out a few of those squares which kind of helps sell the effect and create a cool look another little trick you can do to make it pop or make it your own is go back to the group select one of the squares just like we did last time with the magic wand tool so I'll select this square and then go back to your top layer or you could do it on a new layer so layer new layer if you really want to be organized make sure it's clipped onto the other layers and then you could fill this square with the rectangular marquee tool right click and fill with a bright pop of color so instead of white or black pick color and then let's pick like a bright reddish color press OK and you see that can also create a pretty cool effect and if you wanted to go ahead and add text or do other things from this point you could but that's essentially how to create this interesting square photo manipulation effect and you can add to it as you like so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely leave a like below and leave me a comment let me know what you thought definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and check out the Photoshop playlist on my channel for previous Photoshop tutorials thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time